things like that. So how many of you have heard of Parfoid here? Okay, some, not all, okay, good. So uh, I want to quickly talk to you about, talk to you about what Parsoid is and what uh, Parsoid reduces and uh, what when it's coming, what implications are. Uh, so parse, if you use Visual Editor, which I assume most of you have, then uh, Parsoid is the Wikitext parser that we developed as part of the Visual Editor project so that we could convert any edited HTML back to Wikitext. So it's a round tripping parser, unlike the current one that you're probably all familiar with that uh, can go both directions. And it handles, um, it provides semantic markup and it supports a number of other tools. Uh, so for the last 10 years, starting with Visual Editor, it's uh, moved to support many other tools, uh, content translation uh, on the backend uses Parsoid, Qvix, the offline reader uses Parsoid, discussion tools uses Parsoid, the mobile apps, enterprise API. So at this time, pretty much everything but the desktop read views, that's when you go to the wiki and try to, when you look at the page, that the HTML that you see is not generated by Parsite right now. And that's what we are trying to change. Uh, we are trying to use Parsite for everything that's Wikitext uh, related. So this year we've already rolled this out uh, to uh, Office Wiki, that's an internal wiki. Uh, it's used on discussion pages on Wikitech. And uh, as of last week, all except for wiki use at this time. And um, so the, the reason why we are consolidating behind Parsoid because unlike the Parser, which uh, is used for reviews uh, right now for a desktop rendering, this can support a number of other products. And this is what we can use to evolve and fix some issues with Wikitext and templating in the future. And um, so if you use the linter extension, for example, how many of you know about the linter extension, uh, linter, linterers? Some, okay. So there is actually a, a special page where I think uh, lint errors, that's basically markup issues with Wikitext are uh, displayed so that editors can fix those. That's also based on Parsoid. And uh, the reason we are doing this is we cannot really maintain two Wikitext engines. It's not sustainable, it's too many resources. And if you wanna make changes to Wikitext or templates to clean up, fix, add new features, it really does not make sense to do it in two uh, Wikitext engines. And so the goal here is to unify with a single parse, behind a single parser. Did you have a hand up or just stretching? Just stretching, okay. All right, so in 2024, uh, we've begun to roll out Parsoid and um, the plan is to gradually roll this out through this year and next year. And if all goes well, nobody should notice anything, right? I mean, that's the whole uh, point of this is the technology switches and everything works as before and actually better than before and we can uh, work on newer things. And so we have a confidence framework for deciding how we're going to roll out. And um, it's based on, largely based on two, a uh, couple of different uh, metrics. One is we actually compare the rendering of a page with the current parser and with Parsoid, take a screenshot, do a diff, of the screenshots and look uh, how the how close they match. And um, so here is one way you can actually help us. So we have an extension installed on all the wiki, on all the uh, production wikis, it's called parser migration. And there is actually an opt-in uh, to, you can opt-in as a user editor to that. And so if you go to your special preference page and go to the editing, Tab, you'll probably you can find this uh, opt-in where you can switch to Parsoid uh, if you want to kind of help us test this. And so, um, okay, let's I'm going to skip this one. So here is I'm going to show you an example. So hopefully, I don't know this is open new tab or not. Okay, and we can't see this. Okay, and. So this is what you see today. And this is what it looks like with Parsite. So there's really no change, right? It's basically the same, except you see a little indicator there which says it's rendered with Parsite. So it should, the goal is it should look exactly the same. There will be some minor differences, actually, if you kind of look closely, there probably will be some differences. That's what we hope to discover and fix. 
as we uh, go on. So I can show you an example how that works. So let's click this. So this is how, so this is some old test page I quickly found, so I could probably show you. So this is what we do. So if I click this diff, it shows you a diff. This is a page. And let's go to the top. So not that page up, page, page up. Okay. All right. Yeah, so, so for the most part, it should not show any diff. So here in this particular test, there was something missing there and that's showing a diff. So that's what we'll investigate later if that's what we are doing. So mostly this all should look identical and we scroll, 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 nothing is looking. And in this case, uh, it's showing a diff, but this is because as it turns out, in one of the screenshots, the image did not load. It's not a real issue, just a temporary glitch while we are uh, running the test. And scroll down, and so it's identical all the way, except in the end, there is some vertical white space differences. And if I go back, I can actually show you how that looks. This is mostly to give a sense of how we are testing this, right? Not that you will be doing this, but to show, I mean, sense of how we are going about testing and rolling this out. So if I go to the bottom, let's go to the bottom. Okay. And if you uh, switch here, oops. here there's a, currently there is no white space between these two boxes. And here there's, there's some white space. Right, I know where do people train? I mean, right, so this is the, I mean, I mean, this will show up. And this is what? I mean, right, no, no, I'm not, so I think, so there is stuff like that which we'll probably discover, and we'll probably make judgment calls as to what is actually significant, what's not. And if you notice this, I think, if there, I mean, what we really want to get reports are dynamic behavior, things like, I mean, a lot of you probably use gadgets, user scripts, and that's more, most likely where we'll probably see breakages and differences. And uh, some complex templates may potentially render differently, so I think any feedback you can give us in terms of filing bug reports, that's going to be helpful. And let's see if there's anything else I have. Uh, so that's it for now. I think I think there are a lot more slides, but I think okay, questions, yeah. So in, in some templates that I am aware of are actually producing a, like incorrect mm -hmm. uh, formatted wiki code. You know, like brackets are wrong, misarranged, you know, and like a some some legacy stuff. <clears throat> so uh, for some unknown to me reason, the current parser is able to stomach it. Okay. And can keep some going and produces something that does not blow up. Okay. So some of pages like that might be interesting to make sure that they for also sure. work. Yeah. You and know? if you have a if you have kind of a list of such pages that you think you think we should look at. If we can, I think um, that those are kind of things that's helpful. So things we should definitely look at. The way we are doing this testing is make a random sample of pages on a lot of uh, different namespaces mm -hmm. and run a bunch of tests. So I think on the order of tens of thousands of pages. So it's still a sample. So if there are particular pages that you think we should definitely sample and we should add our test uh, test set, then we I think that would be helpful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you.